all the, the political debate in Italy is based on migrants and security put in together. But this, this is an issue that's come up for us that as, as city leaders, um, that I think there is an appetite and there's an ability to work internationally in a way that maybe our national governments cannot. I mean, I don't want to <laughs> say it's easy, but actually we share populations. Um, our national governments talk in terms of discrete borders and zero sum uh, success. What we're looking at as a network of cities and, mm. and these growing networks of cities is our inter inter interdependence around migration, around climate change, around democratic legitimacy. Um, and cities are talking about connecting with each other. And one of the points Yvonne often makes is just, just the, the whole journey of people around the world from source to transition to destination. Yeah, you know? I think we talk about it in terms of 360, take a 360 view of migration. And it's really important to not think of cities of origin, like myself, um, as being these passive uh, um, players where all we do is feed potential migrants to destination cities. There are dynamics happening in cities like mine. For one thing, I'm also a destination city in as much as that growing population is coming from rural migration. So I'm also faced with the challenge of integrating um, rural migrants, providing services, while at the same time, potentially facing the loss of skilled labor going out as irregular migrants to destination cities. So one of the really beneficial things that we've been doing as the Mayor's Migration Council is to see how we can support at the city level um, those conversations which address the factors which trigger <laughs> migration. You're talking about irregular migration, which is often what the West talks about, industrialized, the, the global north as it's called, but you need to understand that for every one person that makes it to Milan or to Bristol, I'm losing maybe nine along the journey. And that's losing them in terms of people dying, as well as people getting stuck in transit destinations. But more significantly, I am also losing as part of that metric, as part of those numbers, I'm also losing professionals who I desperately need to harness 